Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new series. This is Railroads Online. We have been looking to play this for quite a long time, but the only reason we put it off was because of, I suppose, the gameplay and a few development issues that happened in the past. But all seems to be well enough that we can play this game, finally. So we're going to go straight into it. We'll play and we'll go in a brand new um, save. This is ones that I have been working on in the past. We'll just go to a blank one here. I'm going to leave the physics and industry set to medium. Okay, let's jump straight in. Now, I have adjusted the music and the volume, so hopefully all is okay. And my face has frozen up in the upper left. I think in the future, whenever I go to do the next episodes, what I'll do is I'll just load in like this. And then uh, start the recording, just to prevent any other issues in the future. Very good. So here's our Betsy. And here is our login trailer. So these will be used for the log. So the first thing we need to do is hook up a few things. Um, right, so we can't see it here. Um, but what we need to do is if we get the map. So we're currently this arrow down here at the bottom. Now, if we point over the direction of login camp, which is over there, that's where we need to go to first. We need to get to the login camp first to take logs. We build up our funds enough that we can go and sell them at a wee, there's like a wee factory just over there, or like a wee salmon mill there, which is actually named the Fright Depot. So we need to take logs from the logging camp to the Fright Depot. Um, then we need to hook up logging camp to the sawmill, etc, etc, and then we hook all the different um, industries up. So anybody that's familiar enough with the game knows the whole story, what you need to do. But the furthest I've ever gotten in this game was just hooking it up to the iron ore mine. I never got any further than that. Uh, I never got to the coal mine, I don't think. Did I? No. I don't think so. But all is well. Right, so what we're going to do here in this here episode, the first one, we're going to get the Fright Devil hooked up to the logging camp. So we'll probably just walk it out. Um, or what we'll do is we'll start building a track. Now, first thing we want to do is get this here hooked up. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a pin here. So just drag on the, um, oh, just drag the mouse up and right click, and that puts that pin on there. Uh, and then we need to get firewood into Betsy. And then we'll open this here up and chuck it in. Let's check see what we have in it. Uh, I could do a bit more. Is that enough? No, it didn't go in. I see that still hasn't been fixed, that we issue. That should be it. Yeah, that's it now. Let's close that door. Uh, what about like on water? Uh, air brake pressure, water level is 200. So tell you what we will do. We'll get it under this and we'll fill up with some of the water. And that way uh, we'll be able to put it onto this. Yeah, let's put it on, in there. Um, right, so the first thing we're going to do in this here episode is we're going to try and get as much done as possible regarding getting to log camp. So what we'll need to do is, um, it's a little hard to do it when you don't have a mouse, you no know, like cursor so you can point out everything. But pretty much what we want to do is, if you follow the sort of the direction of the arrow, we want to go straight. And then if you imagine that we go between log camp and sawmill and then do a hard left. And then continue down into logging camp. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go straight towards, straight between logging camp and sawmill, and then do a hard left, and that should uh, do things. When I used to, when I first played this, I actually went around the top of the uh, that ridge there below logging camp. I went out over the above. Uh, oh, I went over the top of it. But we're not gonna do it in this one here because I there's actually a better route to that. So we're like on stem. Uh, what our temperature is getting yeah, there. I think it's when it gets a, was it 110, 120? Uh, it's, it's good to go. And uh, just check that the brake is engaged on this here, uh, which is just going to the right. That's open, and then that's closed, so it's open and closed. So, right, holding left click and scrolling going right will uh, engage the brake. 
Right, so while that's heating up, we want to get the first um, track layered done. Now, there's a few things I like to do here. Um, what's with this here, uh, ground? What's this always here? Is this like a road? This bit here on the ground? Has this already been sort of done? Like the path? That's weird. I think that's an indication to say that this is where you should go. Um, but what I usually do is I have a straight track coming out here. It's like kind of like the main line that runs out here. And then we have a, a change in track that brings us into this here bay here. So I think what we'll do here first is we'll get a wee track in here. And we'll do a wee straight one. So we press G to open up this menu. And I think what we'll do is we'll go with the three foot rail. And let's put it, I think it's, I remember one time doing it, I think it's, as long as you keep the the edge, see where the, the what do you call it, there's a name to it, ballast, is that what you call it? Keep that. And uh, which direction does this want to go? I want to go backwards, that's weird. Uh, I might have to rotate it. Or oh, actually I'll start down here and walk up the ways. Uh, let's get that back again. So we are going to start here and walk up. Yeah, let's put that, I think about there. Now, the way it goes like this here, I mean, if we want to keep that straight, we press five and that locks it on to straight. And we're okay to go as far as, I'm gonna go there. And then right click to disengage. So that's that hooked up there and uh, we will have a straight line, but for now what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll hook this here up. I'm going to do another three foot rail, but how do I rotate? Because if I want to go back the ways, how do I do that? Toggle circle mode. What if I press R? Don't know what R does. Um, but how do I... Oh, it's just that. Right, okay. And then we press 5. And we want to hook it up to this. Why can't I get that? Should be, when you press 5, circle mode, yeah. That's really weird. Let's try it from this um, perspective. It should um, do that. It should... Um, we go like this. Yeah. That's really weird. Doesn't like that for some reason. So what I do is I'll just hook this here up. This is only to get the basics going. To get these two uh, facilities connected. And then we just uh, join it in here. When that way link comes up. There it is. It came up there a second ago. Oh. There. And that is a nice perfect straight track that goes into it. Um, so what we'll do is we'll drive the train up and we'll just see if the edges of the um, the wagon clip at the station. If it does, we'll have to pull the track out a wee bit. If not, then we're all good. So the brakes engaged in that. We have our pin set on our Betsy. So let's take it up. Now, I still haven't used the controls, so I'm going to have to use the, the wee play ones down here at the bottom. And then press V to sort of change your perspective. I'm just going to drive this here in. Oh, and... Put that there. That'll do it. And... Out we go. And engage the pin. There we go. Oh, I forgot to take the brake off. There we go. So let's just see. It should be okay. What is this is it anyway? Yeah, that's alright. It seems to be the width of the track, so that's okay. That's perfect. Let's take the brake off. Let's go. Oh, we've plenty of water level. That's okay. Oh, I've got the... The trees. Uh, let's get rid of these first. So I just go to logging for this. Put that. Right, that's okay. What other ones are in the way there? Uh, this one and this one. The rest are okay. We'll leave them in for now. We don't remove too many of them. 
And refresher is on, breaks off, let's go. Right. Let's take it slowly. That looks okay, yeah, that's perfect. Perfect distance. And we'll break. I'm gonna do the first part where we go towards the uh, logging camp. Right, let's get our map out again. So we're currently down here at the bottom. And we need to go in this direction up here. So we can, if you look at the map, just to our left there, see where the end of the mouse is, there's a wee tiny wee hill just there where, where the word freight, uh, freight is, just between the E and G, there's like a wee ridge there. So we want to go to the right of that. And then we want to go through the valley towards Sawmill, but between Sawmill and Logging Camp. Again, I don't have my mouse cursor to do that. Um, so we'll try and see if we can get it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, construct the track in like normal. Like this. And press 5 to lock it on straight. There we go. And we'll go as far as here as possible. In this direction. And then we'll take a left. I think it's safe to go as far as here. And then what we need to do is we need to go sort of this direction here. So we need to go around. And we need to go, uh, what do we, how do we increase the radius again? Um, if we want to go circle mode, uh, we need to, oh, rotate constructions, a four and six on the keyboard. Okay, so edit curve radius is f four and six. Oh, it is. It's going left there now. There we go. And um, we want to take this radius around here. Let me just until we get the map sort of straight. Uh, so we want to go over this direction here. And I'm going to take it back. I would say... Would that be enough? I would say that, yeah. Yeah, I'd say here. So we have this curve here, and oh, got stuck there. So we have that curve going around, and now we need to go straight, pretty much, um, along here. So let's get G construction, and uh, three foot rail, and we go to this, but we need to go back to straight mode, pretty much. We need straight track. Uh, so we go six. Was it a thousand or something, isn't it? Zero. There we go. So we zero this here out. Now, is the ballast enough and height? I don't want it to be too height, not like a mad height. That's okay. We can just the height if needed. And we'll walk this here out. Keep this along here. And we'll stop it here. Why can't I put that down? Is it too long or something? Why, why can't I? I should be able to put it down. Trees aren't an issue in this here. It'll go through the trees like we've seen in the other one, but if for some reason it's not putting it down. I hope it's nothing to do with, you no know, like, the distance. Right mouse button to end construction, but I want to place it down. Surely it's not uh, a distance issue, is it? No, it couldn't be. really weird. Ah, there we go. So there's 50 meters. I'm 
I'll just keep building it along here. I'd say what it is, you have to sort of click it in down somewhere where it's not gonna. It's a bit panicky, it's, uh, it's panicky is. It's really weird. I don't know why it's doing this. I don't know. Should work there. I don't know. That's really weird. Where are the others over there? For some reason, it's not letting me place that. But as far as I know, it shouldn't be an issue. What's three foot? What's this here? What's the difference in this? Those are just wearing a ballast, is it? So, oh, it must be a ballast thing. Or whatever you call that stuff. I think that's what it is. Let's uh, use that anyway. So I keep building anyway. I go towards this place, so I'll just keep on this line here. So according to this, we need to do a bit of a left hand turn here. We'll see how far we can get. See how far we can get with it. There's a wee bit of a mound up here by the looks of things. Yeah, that's the issue. So we'll just use that track from now on. Although this seems was it a wee bit of a hill, is it? Now, where are we anyway relative to this? So we just need to go uh, along here, just over just between those three there. So let's get that. So we get this. We get that. Edit our curve. And we'll have it going over here. Let's see, is that all right? Well, we kind of want to go this way a wee bit. Yeah, let's go. Right, and then we get our track gain and zero that out. So let's um, zero it. Zero. I know this is a very high ridge, but oh, looks kind of looks like there's a wee valley there. Um, right where are we now? Uh, let's look this way. We're heading this way. Yeah, that should be alright. I'm gonna keep building along. Highways, we should be okay the rest of that way. I'm gonna cut any trees we need to cut. They're gonna be a bit low there. Towards the ground. So we might have to go up a bit. I'll tell you what, we'll take it to here. Yeah, uh, that'll do there. Right, where are we now in relative heaven? We actually went a wee bit too far to the left. I would have liked to have gone over there a bit. So I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll change that. So that we'll aim it to sort of go along that wee bit of a ridge there. Just, I want to get this here right. But I'm telling you, it's 
a lot better than it used to be, that's for sure. Do something, I might actually try to see if we can take a turn here. Although, where's that a curve? And if we take it too far, you know, it. Be too tight. No, I don't want That's alright where it is. But what we'll do is. Hmm. How is it if I delete this? Oh, it only deletes a section, does it? Take that around. We'll we'll continue going up, and then we'll take a wee bit of a right turn. Right. Let's get this. A wee bit of a right turn. this here. Yeah, I like that. Let me keep it going. should just go over the ridge of that. Oh, it's very close to that ground there. But it looks like it's working. Oh, I've done something to it. It's a bit low to that ground, but I think it's okay. Uh, where are we? This is probably where it'll split off to go in towards Salmon and stuff. And this will continue around. So let me put a quick left curve, switch left. Uh, is it a ballast? Yeah, it is called ballast. Let's see if we can get a left curve on this here and here. And then this one here will continue around to the logging camp. Where it will uh, continue around. Probably put a wee bridge here or something. And then this will continue around. Alright, where are we now? Yeah, we keep it going. Big circle. Although I want to take that until we need to use the bridge. So I'm thinking as far as here. And what we'll do is we'll replace that way section with a bridge. Continue this around. This is so much easier than what it used to be. The other way used to be so tedious. Keep this curve going. So if we keep them this, we will need to take a wee bit of an angle to the left. I'm saying 600. I uh, don't see it yet. Oh, what's that over there? Don't see it. Uh, um. Uh, 
Now let's take it a wee bit to the left. And keep this going. Until we find I, as far as I know, I think we have to take it a wee bit uphill. I think. Who the hell is that? I always forget where it is. Hold on a second. Let's go over here. There's something over here. I'll use this wee bit of a hill to see if we can find it. I almost forget where it is. Have we gone past it? So it's saying it's over here. Surely it's not up here, is it? I don't remember it being up this way. Where is it? Oh, there it is. So this is the lagging camp. So what? Oh. Oh, this is a weird wee angle, so it is. Um, right. I kind of wish you could put markers on this here. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll kind of work backwards and we'll try to see if we can join the tracks. Right, let's get the track along here first and then we can do whatever we need with it. And this. Is that... Alright, I think. And then this is going. Oh. Zeroed. It is tapering in towards the track, are we? Oh, and towards the. Thing. Oh, a tiny wee bit, is it? Uh, it is a wee bit. But what way did we do that from the start? Ah, uh, well, we kind of did that. Yeah, let's try it this way. Not so, I'm not so bad about that one there. It's mainly this here one. This here needs to be a straight. Uh, this here needs to be here. But there. Oh. And then try this one here. There we go. I don't mind if that's too far out, you know, it, it does its own way thing. And then that land here. There we go. So let me see that. That needs to curl around to the left and go out down here. So we're gonna have to do a bit of curling here. And we'll do a left turn. I'd say about 500 meters. Oh. There we go. And it has to go down the ways. So how do I go down the ways? Add a gradient to an eight. I think I'll try and do it at one and a half percent. That'll have to be a bridge, I think. Not netting over one and a half. Although it looks like we're going to hit a ridge here. So we'll have to take this around a wee bit tighter. Uh, where's the map? Yeah, we're going to have to take it over here. I need to get around this. I 
I need to go a little bit more. Alright, <laughs> that's a wee bit high, but we'll, we'll get that sorted down in a second. Although it doesn't really matter if it does. Let me see what way we're facing in this. And now we need to go out to the right. So I need to squeeze around to the right. Is that a track over there? Oh, there's a track there, so we'll try and see if we can get it somewhat straight in power with it. And we'll try and keep it going downhill. Right, that's okay. I'm gonna delete this here, other track. Let's see if that's okay. It's a gradual incline up, so it should be okay. Is there any more of that track about? No, nope, that's it. Okay, so we'll take this on round. And then we'll call it an episode. Uh, so we need to join this with the existing part. So we'll probably use the freeform part of this here to do this. And uh, let's uh, straighten it out. Oh, too far. There. Uh, we'll take it to about this height. And then we'll uh, level out the ballast. So we need to take it up to zero. Hopefully that's enough. That's not gonna be enough, no. Where is that other track? Hopefully it wasn't that big. That it has completely disappeared now. But there was supposed to be a bridge somewhere. I haven't come across the bridge yet. I don't want to walk too close to that sawmill. Where the hell is it? Was it this far? No. We've gone a wee bit too far this direction. This is the slowest part, pretty much. Oh, there's there. There. So we need to connect this to the other one. there on the left yeah that's it over there so we'll go to free form motor here and just connect it with this there I know it's a wee bit wonky but I'm happy enough with that all right uh, let's cut the, the logs from the side I think it cost like, was it $2 or something to cut down a tree? What is it? We've got funds to 2000 I don't think it is. 
No, it's not. Let's continue. You think that was that was unclean, but it's not. That's actually that's uh, all level there, so it is. I think it was here we said we were going to replace with a bridge. Just anywhere where there's the trees touching the ballast or the track or remove. There we go. There. And here. Uh, so, uh, we got, remember. That the trees are really weird in this game. They always like to jump all over the place. I'm gonna try and keep these sessions to about half an hour. Mm, two quarters of an hour max. Just keeps people interested. Like it's a wee bit boring after a while. Um oh yeah, then this is our track that we're going to I'll get rid of this one here as well. And that. Uh, clear trees all along here and then what we'll do is we'll take the train back and clear the rest that's a bit too close there and that one there it used to cost money to remove trees but that used to be a thing you know you had to be careful of how much you spent And this. There we go. There we are. Here. Uh, why have we got this track here? Oh yeah, this is to be removed. I'll remove that later on. There we go. Here. Here. There. It is very repetitive, but it's worth it in the end. But let me just tell you this. I remember the first time playing this game, it took three hours to build a track. Actually, maybe even close to five to build a track from uh, where we started over to that login place. Because it was a different way of doing tracks. Anybody that's first like, played this game when it was released would know just how tedious it was. This is a lot better. We are getting a lot. Like in just half an hour, I pretty much got it all hooked up. And uh, the only thing I was doing now is just removing these trees from it. You had to get your directions right. And I remember building huge mounds of ballast and sand on top of them. You no, know, like big towers that were in the ground, just to sort of get a, a rough idea where everyone was. And then just you know connecting the dots really. Any trees that we've missed, no, we'll, we'll get them on the, while we're on the train. Uh, we'll get rid of these two here. These ones as well. I don't don't like them being too close. There's a few that we've missed. 
Or get them in the train. Alright, hopefully there's enough steam in this thing. Uh, is that enough? Water level. Yeah. But we've run out of wood. Oops. Uh, the whole camera's gone all weird. It's like we're offset from the character a wee bit. Okay. It's not going into it for some reason. Ah. That'll do. Let that warm up. Uh, the whole camera's gone all weird on this character for some reason. Like we're offset by quite a bit. <laughs> That's a weird way of jumping there. Um, I wish you could kind of reset it. Uh, let's see what we're like on Steam. The first episode, we're allowed to go to about three quarters an hour, so we're okay with that. Uh, water temperature's going up there now. And uh, while that's going up, um, we'll uh, just remove a couple of trees here. I'll do it. Um, the main line will probably change where we are looking at it now. It probably won't go along here. It'll actually probably go over to there. Although this can be the main line. It just runs up along here. Yeah, this can be the main line. And then we do a shunting yard. A shunting yard for keeping the wagons and stuff. For parking the freight trains and various different uh, tools as well. Let's keep it topped up of wood. Oh, don't go off without me. There we go. Yeah, that's top top. Uh, Right, let's see. I think we're alright on Steam, so we can just go ahead. Alright. I take it at a slow enough speed, about 40%. Okay. So I'll just take it up to the logging camp and check the trees as we go along. Oh, that's me. Uh, what do we like on trees along here? Yeah, that looks clear. I'll keep it going. Yeah, so 110 is the limit of this here. Betsy for the temperature. Going good. I used to put double lines in, but it's only good if you have multiplayer and you want no like a direction of travel. Other than that, it's not the best. Also, wonder if the switches go back to flipping again. So if you come and say, if you're, for example, you approach uh, the joint at Tabor's Inn, I'm wondering, like, does it uh, like automatically throw the switch if you're on the wrong side of the track? To that. Very good corner. And our change the track there, yeah, that's okay. It's a little bit tight like a curve, but it's okay. Yeah, it's alright. And this is where it goes uphill. So this is a... Uh, oh no, this is still flat. This is still a zero gradient. It's only when we get to the end of it, it starts to ascend. 
this back over there. I think it was priority wise. Priority is connecting the logging camp to the sawmill, so whatever direction that is, we'll probably do like a crow fly direction with that. Um, oh, there's a tree in the way. Let's hop out and get the rest of these caught, and then we'll call it an episode. Are we a bit weird from this direction for some reason? Uh, get this one here as well. Here, here, and here. I don't want them too close to this ballast. And it. And here. And here. Here. Yeah, it would probably end up replacing this with a wooden bridge or something. Or try to see if we can find a better way of connecting that up. There's people that would remove all these trees from the you know the game so they can see heaven, but I think it adds a wee bit of uh, a challenge, you know, you, where you need to sort of see, you know, around them to know where you want to go. Like, if you were able to see where all the, the things were, like, what's, where's the fun in that? There's no fun in it. Well, maybe it is in, you know, in terms of, like, creative level, I suppose. There, okay. There, there. I think what we'll do is we'll just get the immediate ones that are affecting the track ready. They're not going for some reason. This bit says the hitboxes on them. Gonna be a bit funny. Sometimes the hitboxes are a wee bit weird. And here. And the last few. There. Alright, let's run back. And that's okay where it is while I get this one. Yeah, this will be possibly a bridge. Or. I don't know. Yeah, it could be a bridge. Not too sure what to do with it yet. Get this one here as well. Snakes around. I could have kept that a wee bit tighter to that, but no, I better do it this way. And this one. And this one here. It's alright. They're okay. Yeah, they're all right. I'll leave the rest of them in. And we're going to get this train. I'm going to take it the rest of the way up. Now, first episode, a bit of an uh, exception because uh, just the way things are. You can sort of see where the 
the track, Shimmy Zoeva. And we're like, uh, we're okay. Let's get a full throttle there. Let's keep it like that. Trick it around there in no time. Once we get up there, we'll load on some nuts and then we'll, um, we'll sell a few of them. Are we we're slowing down in speed. Was it 1.5? I think we said was the limit for our gradient height. Take it up to the first one. There we go. That's not bad. Um, how do you get out again? <laughs> I forgot there for a second. And let's get this. And then it loads up onto this one. Ah, good. We are close enough to it. And I, I, I think there were those talks of having this here automated, you know, where you can like buy automation or like workers and stuff. I think that'd be pretty cool. I hope they get that soon enough. It is a bit awkward having no all do all this here by hand. It's extremely tedious. I think this is one of the reasons it popped me off was because you know the amount of clicking you had to do, and it became like a whole clicking session. But when once you get two of them going at the same time, it's it's a lot better. You can park the two cards up in a way that you can just click between the two of them. There's uh, four. I need two more. And there's a thing. Yeah, you can offload them. And last one. I'm gonna take this down. So let's go to reverser, let's go to brake, and let's pull it back. I'm gonna let it freewheel its way down. So this will no freewheel. Or should freewheel. And buy more carriages as well. It is freewheeling, yeah. They're nice gentle curves as well, so I shouldn't no fall off or anything. Let's keep the regulator up. The noise is a wee bit weird. Hopefully that's not too loud. I will adjust it uh, in whenever I go to edit the video, because the, um, the 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 train sound, as well as some of the game sounds, are on a different channel, and um, so it's just a matter of adjusting the channel sounds. But ideally, I like to have it in a way I don't have to, and yeah, because it does waste a bit of time, and you have to keep adding. Just the long way drive back. I wish you could open up the menu while you drive, but you can't. Is this still. 
Oh, it doesn't stop. It did help out. So there's our every arrow up there. Let's we'll go around it. We're gonna make our way to the right devil. Free depot. Here we go around. Go a bit the fastest speed if you can. The board level goes down really slowly. Wait. I should say I thought it was increasing there for a second. Yeah, once you have loads of cards, this is a lot better. It's a very, very tedious no thing whenever you start off with one cash. It builds up the funds enough that you can get loads of them. I think cordwood is actually uh, gives you more money, so maybe we'll get a few of those as well. I don't have far to go now. Down to stop. I'll do that. And stop. Uh, how do you do this again? What's that say? Free it. Enter to unload. See the phones going up. So it's ten, ten dollars uh, a log. It goes up by. Uh, we suppose we should buy some, you know, uh, more carriages. But again, as I say, it's we'll do that in the next episode. Okay, so that's that for this here. Uh, thanks very much for watching. We are taking suggestions for this here, so if you have any, do them. leave them in the comments below. Also visit this Discord channel as well, that's linked in the bottom of the description. There you will be able to follow things like the schedule and information board, as well as talk to community members. There you will also see when games are going to be released, uh, the news for the games, and when they're going to be released up to YouTube. So do follow Discord for all that stuff. If you are enjoying the content so far, do consider subscribing and dropping us a like if you're enjoying what you're seeing. All likes show what people are interested in and I'll try and focus on those areas a bit more in the future. But other than that, thanks again for watching. See you in the next one. I would like to give a massive shout out to the channel donators. You helped make these videos possible.